guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. I just did a test um, tile on the um, Prism Pour colors, and I'm really pleased with it. I ended up using the bare satin <clears throat> paint as my base, so hopefully that works out. Um, I usually use the color place, but I'm going to try this because I'm always trying new things. <laughs> So I just did a, um, a pour that was really poor, and um, I <laughs> I might post it. I'm not sure. It was like a hot mess, and it kind of turned into a happy accident. But I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not, um, or even post it or not. This is a wood round that I have taped off. I have also gessoed it. I have um, put a link to the video where I show you how to make your own homemade gesso. It's kind of cool. I don't know if that's going to be enough paint. Let's put some more. This stuff's pretty thick. All right, I'm going to do a swipe. Uh, Mickey Hussey style. I need to spread this out. Gotta love turntables, eh? Eh? That's a little better. I'm really pleased with the colors of the prison pour. I had issues in my last pour because I had a lot of crusties that came out of the jar into my pour and it was um it was one of those pours where like it's murphy's law if anything can go wrong it it'll go wrong and it did so anyhow i am going to use this is i'm not using a lot um this is the hot orchid they're pretty thick And I love this one next to the Egyptian coin. Okay, Egyptian coin, here you come. You know, I thought about it. <clears throat> There's a few professions that you shouldn't say oops in. <laughs> Luckily, um, paint pouring isn't one of them. But like, dentists, <laughs> surgeons, massage therapists. I used to be a massage therapist. All right, that's going to look pretty. And I'm going to go the other way with, this is the um, Chrysocolla. I love this color. It's so pretty. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit along here too. You wouldn't believe what it does. It turns it purple. And there's no purple in this. There must be a lot of blue tones in, in here. And I'm going to finish this off with a little bit of Chantilly Lace. This is a gorgeous color. Um, it's got so much sparkle to it. Unbelievable. I have a feeling these prism pores are gonna be much better for swipes and for blooms than um, they are for paint pouring. 
Um, all right, that should be enough. All right, I'm gonna swipe with black. <clears throat> I have my black Amsterdam Oxide Black with Floetrol. That's Australian Floetrol. And how's everybody doing? Hi, Chloe. Hello. You finished playing outside? Okay. So I'm going to take this. You! You! Oh, shoot. I'll fix that. <laughs> Always fixing things, aren't I? Um, let me take this one. How many out, out there have any clothes left that doesn't have paint on it? <laughs> Just curious. We've got my little one here. And we're going to Ooh, pretty. Okay. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. So see where the purple is? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take it back and show you. Nope, no purple there. There is purple right in the center though. I don't like this. It's coming off. And I'm wondering if I should swipe it with a different color over here. Good, then we won't do it. Now, this has been sitting for a while, so I might <clears throat> I might um, add a little bit of Aussie Floetrol to it. And this is the Atelier Copper Interactive. So let's give it a quick stir. If it doesn't look good on that little corner, I'm not gonna continue. Corners are easier because you can, um, they're easier to scrape off and then and put a little bit more. Okay, let's try it. Stop talking, Michelle, just do it. I don't know, I'm scared. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me likey. Copper it is. my uh, cell activator is not coming out. There we go. Put 
with some black in the center. I'm really loving those colors, guys. Mm. Oh yeah, I like the black too. I might go over that with the black too. Yep. You can do anything. stretch it or do I this needs something more This side was lacking, considering what this side is doing. I don't always recommend swiping over something twice, but I just added more color, so that's permittable. Anything's permittable. Oh, mama like, mama like a lot. Why did I do that? It happens every time. I might do some modifications on these too. Closer to the canvas. <laughs> oh Lord. Off you go. Off you go.
gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what is going on tonight? Too crazy. I don't even know what that was. Side, but I like the negative space, I really do. And I'm going to pour a little bit more of the white <clears throat> on this one side here. It's kind of uneven. I don't know how well this satin levels out, so. It's going to, st it's starting to set up already, so I've got to stop. And that's probably what's happening. All right, guys, what do you think? I think I need something through here now. <laughs> oh, I can't stop. Pull it right out of here and put it right on the canvas from here. You don't mix anything with prism pour, everything is in it already. And look at that. This is the crusties I was talking about in my last video. Dang it. Oh, lordy lordy. That's what was happening. I had crusties in my pour. You gotta be real careful. I don't know if you guys could see this, you know, around the edges. It's all yuck. Um, okay, gold. Where's the lid? There we go. Good to mix it up first. See all these crusties? That ends up in your paint and it's not good. Not good at all. See, you have to mix the colors because uh, a lot of the pigment is at the bottom. I can 
can never leave well enough alone, can I? I just love that combination. All right, one more time. Black. Here we go, black. Make sure your palette knife is cleaned off fairly well in between. Always clean your palette knife off in between your swipes or you'd be crying. Yep, glad I did it. I guess I should have just put all the colors down right from the beginning. <laughs> oh well. Those are sinking. Yeah, the um, I'm losing my cells. I hope this doesn't continue. Yeah, I've lost all my cells. Oh boy. It's only paint, as my good friend Cindy Vander Vanderveen would say. It's only paint. Stop fretting about it. All right, hopefully those cells stick. They are kind of dark, that's probably why. But let me take you, let me take you guys in for a close up and uh, I'm calling it a night. I have a commitment tomorrow morning and I have to get up for it for sure. Nope, put stuff away from the paint. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys down for a uh, And here it is, guys. The shimmer and the brightness of those colors is unbelievable. I'll have to see tomorrow if they hold. Um, I'm really happy with this piece. Look at that, woohoo! Blinded by the light. Sorry, I'm getting too close. Look at that. And over here, where I mix all the colors, see how it turns purple? And there's no purple in there. Yeah. A lot of bling bling here. There's absolutely no, um, oh, look at that shimmer. Are you kidding me? That looks like it's a gradient of color. Yeah, there's no um, two paints. This is pure prism pour. All right, well, be safe and create. Please share and subscribe and hit that uh, like button, please. It helps me out. Ciao for now.